What do we got? <laughs> no, nah, we got, uh, who we got? Marja? You got a question? All right. What you got? I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. Any thoughts on these Man, this team, we came together, had a really good time together. Came up short, but I'll tell you, there's not one team that had more fun than we did. So that's one thing I'll never forget these guys ever. Boy, get off the stage. Come on, bro. Let me go. I'm tired. It's time to go. I'm tired. Get off the stage. All right. Go Appreciate ahead. y'all. Hey, dark skin crew right here. That way. Come on. Come on. Don't need some facial hair. Come on. We got 1201, 1203, and 1159. Well, you icy. You must sign something. Nah, this fake. We'll start in the room. Questions for Dorian. Oh, man. Yeah, Dorian, are you thinking about the game right now or are you thinking about the season? Um, um, a little both, but you know they was they was the better team tonight. Um, you know uh, against a team like this, um, you know we just got to be a little bit play a little bit more harder and uh, can't have you know uh, the my fault mistakes. Darren, could you just sum up the season a little bit? You guys were sixteen and eighteen late uh, December, and now you're in the Western Conference Finals. Um, it was a fun season. Um. Coach gave us two words, you know, accountability and uh shoot, I can't even think of it. Chemistry. Yeah we go. Accountability and accountability and chemistry and uh I feel like we did a great job of that. You know, um, ever since we told uh, coach told the bench to, you know, stay in the game and don't sit down, you know, um it kinda you know, energized the whole team and we just stuck with it. Um, you know, we, we try to, you know, address the problem before we get to coach and I feel like we did a good job this year. Do you feel like you guys have established a different standard uh, this year, and, and how does how does this team stay at this level and, and get to the next level? Well, um, like Coach said, you know, um, team's gonna be coming for us now, um, but you just gotta remember how hard it was to, to even get here. You know, I mean, it's not easy. You know, that's why it's only one <laughs> one winner. And but this journey was long. We still playing. This is my first time playing basketball almost to June. So, uh, you know, I'm gonna enjoy this little break. To go off of that too, Jason said that this off season's gonna be big in terms of understanding what it takes to play this long and, and getting prepared for that. What did y'all learn in this run and particularly in these last couple of rounds about what's different about getting this far as opposed to just the first round? Um, you know, the emotions, you know, it's, it's been some emotional series. Um, and also, like I said, we can't have a my fault mistakes, you know, especially not against a team like, like them. You know, that, that my fault mistake going to be a three ball, you know, with the crowd going crazy. So, uh, you know, we just got to learn from, from this experience. And you know, it was fun. It was real fun. Um, somebody should have told me that the playoffs was this fun. But, uh, you know, I appreciate it. You know, I don't like the text. You know, we got to do something about that. I ain't get a text in five years. <laughs> And all of a sudden, I get a contract now, and they just give me a tech for, for no reason. <laughs> no, I can't. No, I, and I ain't get it yet. I ain't get it yet. <laughs> Shoot, nah, but uh, it's been fun. It's been fun. I love being around this group of guys. You know, we just, just got to learn from it. Yeah, just talk about learning from it. You were down 3-2 uh, to the Phoenix and came back and won. I won a game seven there. Then you go to five here. What do, what do you, what is the next step for this team, and what do you think you guys need to get to the next step? Um, I would say we just got to execute the game plan a little bit better. Um, they, oh, they they got all the hustle plays, you know, stuff like that. You know, they can't get in, in the playoff. They can't get a lot of second chance points. You know, transition points got to slow them down. But like I said, they was the better team tonight. Um. No, I feel like we gave up game two. So uh, if we if we'd have won game two, you know, um, it'd be a different series, um, especially the momentum of the series. But like I said, they're a great team. You know, we we didn't keep our foot on the gas, and they came back and won.
Uh, how you doing? Uh, in what ways did you improve or become a better athlete? Uh, I, I would say uh, I gained uh, uh, some trust in the team and, and with the coaching staff. Um, just, you know, being an all-around player, um, playing out of closeouts, putting on the ground. But um, I would say just being more vocal, too. I would say I was more vocal this year than I ever been. Um, probably, uh, I would say just, you know, a couple of guys got young kids and, you know, um, you know, spent like Spence, you know, um, you know, so I was able, and Trey Burt, you know, I was able to, you know, pick brains of them of, you know, how they been doing or what they been doing as far as fatherhood, you know, so I would say that, you know, um, also I would say guys like Luca and JB, you know, um, JB helped me out a lot, you know, especially, you know, being this our contract year. You know, he was one of the ones that, that just tell me to relax early in the year and just, you know, whatever happens, it's going to be up, you know, re regardless of what it was. You know, it was going it was gonna to be some more than what I got now. So, <laughs> but, hey, but JB about to get that bad. <laughs> Nah, but I would say that, you know, they they really helped me off the court, you know, because we wasn't shooting the ball good early in the year. And I feel like, you know, just taking that from him, that mentality, and it helped me all year.